The Cuban government has announced that it is easing travel restrictions and abolishing the system that forced Cubans to obtain exit visas before they could travel abroad. The new rules will take effect in January. CCTV's Michael Voss has more from Havana. This was a much anticipated and eagerly awaited reform. The costly bureaucratic system of applying for an exit visa was unpopular. Cubans received the news of the new migration laws with enthusiasm. I haven't read it all yet, but I think this was something long overdue, and politically, it is a good move. The new immigration law is marvelous because you can come and go, travel as you please without asking the state. I really want to travel. The move is the latest in a series of reforms under President Raul Castro, which include opening up the private sector of the economy and removing restrictions on house and car sales. Under the new rules, most Cubans will simply need a passport and a visa from the country they're visiting. Until now, they had to provide a letter of introduction and even then were not guaranteed permission to leave. Key workers, such as doctors, are unable to leave the country unless part of an official medical team. Fearing a brain drain, these restrictions remain under review. Cubans may be free to travel abroad now, but given the global concerns about illegal immigration, getting tourist visas to visit countries may not be so easy. Michael Voss, CCTV, Havana.